G'day YouTube, welcome to another epic clock bench video. Today we've got our hands on a P7P55 LX socket 1156 motherboard running BIOS 1202. Now this motherboard was originally running some random old BIOS from 2009 which wasn't detecting the full 16 gigabyte of RAM so after the update it detected all that RAM and we were good to begin our overclocking adventures now the CPU we're going to be pairing with this motherboard is the Intel i5-661 again it's of the socket 1156 format released in Q1 roughly 2010 so we're going back eight years now now the ram we've got with this is just mixed four gigabyte sticks of ddr3 1333 megahertz but it all runs in dual channel so hey who really cares moving on to our overclocking adventures load setup defaults yes straight into ai tweaker set that to manual Change the BCLK to 170 off the bat. CPU ratio to 26, which is the maximum for this processor. DDR3 set to 1020. 1 1.4 on the V core. And LLC enabled. And we'll stick the RAM to 1.65 volt. Stock volts is 1.6, but you know, we'll give it a bit of extra juice just in case. I mean, they're running under spec anyway, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, the hardware monitor to disable that annoying CPU fan error that you get on boot up with these Asus motherboards, so we'll just ignore that. Select our boot device, which is the SSD. Get rid of that stupid full screen logo and express gate crap. No need for that. And uh, that should just about do us. Fingers crossed your boots. Look at that, booted up nicely, 4.42 gig. Stock is 3.3 gig, so that's a nice little 1.1 gigahertz overclock. Not too bad if I do say so. Camera always has a little bit of trouble focusing on these uh, boot screens, but uh, we should get some focus back once we're in Windows. And there's the good old boss welcome splash screen. That's me and there's my desktop. So we're in Windows. We'll just check our temps with real temp. Open up CPU Z, check our voltages and our hardware monitor. And uh, after we do that, we'll move on to some Prime 95 for 10 minutes or so. And then we'll move on to some gaming. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Zooming. Zooming. And zooming. There you go. 4.419 gigahertz. There you go. 4.41 in hardware monitor. 1.392 volts. So we've got a, a very slight V droop there. But uh, no big deal. I mean, temperatures look pretty good, but Prime 95 will tell the full story of that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.